Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host Jermaine, interviews another creator and we speak about their journey thus far. Tonight, I have a special guest as always, and uh, this has been a long time coming. So as always, I'm gonna read their bio, give a little backstory on my guests, and then we'll introduce them, get them on the podcast, and we can have an amazing conversation. Vox is an avid wrestling fan and versatile gamer, navigating RPGs, shooters, fighting, sim, and wrestling games. Whether it's virtual brawls or gripping narratives, Vox creates an electrifying blend for gamers and wrestling enthusiasts alike. And with that, no further ado, I keep stumbling over my words. I'd like to introduce my guest for this evening. Vox, welcome to the podcast. How are you doing today, sir? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I guess it's appropriate that I'm sitting here laughing, considering how much I laugh IRL. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's why I have people mute because sometimes, <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna behind the scenes. Sometimes I bang out the intro one shot. And other times it might take me three or four or five or seven times. But whatever, it's it's all good. Movie magic. You like that? Exactly. Uh, Vox, how how are you doing, sir? I'm doing good, man. I'm just chilling, you know. Hell yeah. That's what I like to hear. I'm going to go ahead and let the listeners know. I've known Vox. Vox, and I, you know what? I can do this now. I can do this now. Oh, I already know what you're getting ready to oh, say. I already know. Yeah, you don't have yeah. to. No, I'm doing it. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, listen. All right. So I've said this to many people. Some I probably said it on this podcast already, but there was a specific time that I remember I don't know if I was going to quit, but I was definitely feeling like I need to pivot or this shit ain't for me. I don't know what I'm doing streaming wise. And I was playing Farlight, Far, Far, what the hell was that name called? Uh, oh. I think it was Firewatch. Firewatch. I was playing Firewatch, streaming to like one person, maybe two. And I was just doing what I usually do. I was just talking and playing a game and trying to keep conversation up with myself. So it was crazy. I got to the scary part in the game. Like if you played Firewatch, the game's not scary, but this part was fucked up because this black shadow came out of nowhere, <laughs> popped up and disappeared. And I was like, what the fuck? And then somebody in chat was like, I don't even remember what you said, but basically you were like, what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, right? And so from that, there was a lot more than I actually found a VOD in which this oh, happened. Did. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna oh, cut God. that thing up. <laughs> but Vox sat there and interacted with me and talked back. And then I don't even know if it was that long. Then I went and checked out his channel and he was playing Yakuza 6. And I will never play that game because I watched him beat the whole thing in a fucking suit. And ever since then, I was like, yo, this is my guy. <laughs> like, we've been vibing since then. I appreciate this man in every aspect of a human being you can like appreciate because like if i need him he's there for me and vice versa so i'm just giving you your flowers live on the podcast box i appreciate you and thank you uh for thank you for being a friend man <laughs> i just want to let you you and everyone else know i'm like smiling ear to ear um <laughs> the, the thing is i thank you for first of all <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but uh you had my beautiful girlfriend out here previously, Calista Keynes, and I was I was going through a time kind of like similar to what you were thinking about. I'm like, man, is nothing is really like going my way with this channel, blah blah blah, yada yada. yada. Mm -hmm. And then she, Ka Calista says, or Callie says, why don't you start networking? I'm like, what do you mean <laughs> networking? What does that mean? I don't. This is like. <laughs> This is a super early concept of streaming because mm -hmm. you just knew to press live and that was it. There was no. I'm going to go consistently post on socials for people to see what I am streaming and build this community and things like that. It's like, you all should just come watch me because I'm playing. And so she said that and I'm like, fine, I'll try it. And I sat there looking through cat. She was just like, well, go look at games. Did you want I'm like, why would I want to go look at games that I've already beat and played? You know, mm -hmm. like I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't understand it at that point. Right. But I'm like, you know what? Firewatch just came out. I want to go find somebody to play it uh, or watch somebody play it. And I looked through it for a while. I was just looking for, let's be real, I was looking for black folks. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, that's kind of, <laughs> you know, that's kind of difficult to do over there on that purple site. So uh, when I found you, I was like, all right, let me just sit in here and chill. And then we came across that part. I'm like, what the hell was that? <laughs> and I'm like, and then I don't know, it was just the way that you were interacting with me. I'm like, no, this is actually really cool because it felt, it felt like I was, sitting on the couch with you as you were playing mm, if that makes mm -hmm. sense 
No, so totally. That was like a great thing where it actually helped me be able to reach out to others and watch, you know, and network with other people because I thought it was going to be this very intimidating thing, and it wasn't. We just sat there and talked about the game that was in front of us. Exactly. Yeah. And, and now here here we are. Uh, years. I don't even know when that was. 15 years later. No. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it wasn't. Oh, no. I almost said 2008. That would have been a lot. 2018, yeah. I think it was. That sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. A couple of years Ooh. before that Six thing years happened. later. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, he's still here, so he's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, Vox, let me. I I already know this story, but I'm gonna make you tell it for the podcast because okay. you know that's what we're here for. Uh, the origin story. How did you start oh, creating man. content? So, uh, ironically enough, it started when I was back in high school. Mm-hmm. Uh, you remember AMVs? Oh my god! Animated music videos for people. Who yes, like, yes. Oh, I might be dating myself here, but. <laughs> I used to like I love syncing videos up to music. Okay. I, I don't know why, but that kind of like kickstarted the the urge to want to like edit videos and do something with that. And then a couple years, well, I want to say a couple years ago, it was probably about six, eight years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, a group of friends and I was like, well, why don't we try doing a podcast? And one of my friends just goes, Oh, we can call ourselves, I don't know, non-canon crew. I'm like, you know what? That sounds ridiculous enough that I like it. It's like yeah. it, it's like a rock name band, right? Which doesn't make any sense, but it's just like, yeah, it sounds cool. Right. So it was it was a group of about five of us. Uh, it was uh, one Son of the Lantern, Callista Canes, and then our other two friends. And mm-hmm. we were just doing this, just talking. That we started off, and I don't know if I told you this. The way we started off is that we huddled around Callista's old Mac. And we just talked into the Mac itself. Wow. We filmed like 50 episodes like that before we finally got a blue snowball. That's that's amazing. You know what I mean? So it's like it, it, it kind of preached the whole fact that you don't really need the best equipment to start with because that was our first time doing it. And we were just sitting there. We sat there and talked for hours, dude. Like those those conversations that you have with your friends about, you know, whatever. Yeah. And how it just keeps going to the next thing. That's where the non canon part came from. Cause we wouldn't stay on topic for anything. <laughs> we would just keep going off to another tangent. But right. being with them, and then we uh started getting into Destiny. Uh what was the other one? Xenoverse, uh, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Xenoverse, Xenoverse 2. I'm sure I'm pronouncing the name wrong or whatever. But we would just play those as a group, and then we decided to start streaming to YouTube. That's actually where we started. Okay. Uh, and none of us knew anything about Twitch. And then we had friends and family who was like, oh, maybe you should do Twitch. And we tried it there, too. And then it, that's kind of how it went. Like, people wanted to create their own brand, which was cool. So I'm like, well, I, this thing is already kind of built up. Let me just ride with it for a little bit right. longer and see what happens. And here we are. Exactly. That's awesome. So I, I usually I've been asking over the last couple of episodes, people, the origin story of their uh, username. But I have a different question for you. Oh. I don't, I don't, this is a surprise. You didn't even know I was going to ask. This. I didn't know you were going to ask this question. <laughs> so we can cut it if need be. But uh-huh. you kind of told us the origin story of your name. It's, it was is you can find you as non canon crew. But yeah. I remember your first stream back. Was it this year or last year? The first year back after the hiatus. 2023. You mentioned, yeah, that's right. You mentioned possibly changing the name up. Is that still a plan? <laughs> yeah, that is definitely still a plan. That's why I was kind of questioning. I was like, yeah, should we still do the podcast? And say, you know, like, you know what? No, because we've been planning this for so long. But yeah, it's still it's still being planned. Hell yeah. All right. Dope, dope. Well, when it happens, I can have you back on because this is my show. I can do whatever the fuck I want. So. <laughs> I mean, it'd finally be nice to have Vox in the name, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I would love that because that's that's what I call you. I used to, I remember I was, I used to call you Cannon. I'm like, that don't seem right. <laughs> hey, you know Cannon. what? That's, that's why we got to change it, right? So not Cannon mm-hmm. Crew being all five of us, but I was always Vox and not Cannon Crew in and out. So it didn't matter, but. It's always weird when someone calls me that because it always correlates to my five friends or the five of us together. I'm like, but I'm Fox. Like, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. All right. We're going to flash forward to the present. It's fun to visit the past, but I like living in the present, especially yeah. nowadays. With current mindset in regards to your content that you're making now, the YouTube videos you're banging out on a weekly basis. <laughs> what is your uh, current mindset when it comes to your content? Um, 
what I've like learned over those two years is that this content is for me. You know, I got into like I talked about earlier. I, t- I got into making like AMVs because that's what I wanted to do. That's what at that time was cool to me, right? Right. And creating these videos, that was something where I always talked about with friends when we were younger playing Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 2, back on PlayStation 3. Oh, if we had a camera and a way to record all this, people would think this is great. And, then, you know, that kind of sat in my head until I realized, like, hey, this is a reality. So it's always going to come back to I'm making this for me because I, I, want, I know I can make myself laugh. And I love being able to watch stuff back and have that feeling like, all right, yeah, I'm, I really I really did something with that one. <laughs> like, mm-hmm, that was actually mm-hmm. really funny. Especially hearing other folks like come up to me and repeat stuff yes. that I've said in the stream. Yes. I still have people coming up to me saying, burn it down, burn it down, burn it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so it's always gonna be, yeah, it's it's you gotta put me first, right? So exactly. Yeah, I, I just find what I do entertaining. I know that sounds vain, but I mean I mean I just want to see how far I can go. Yeah, I just wanna see how how far I can go with what I got. Yo, I love it. And I will, from the outside looking in, I, I know we talk on a fairly regular basis, but mm-hmm. when you took that break and you like buckled down and you bang, what was the first you uh, God of War? Just like knowing what you put into that God of War series, the way it is coming out, like I'm impressed. Like I've never been able to, I never, I don't want to say never. At times, I couldn't figure out how to make content off of a like single player playthrough. But watching right. your Kirby and like the Luigi Mansion, like you make it work and it's entertaining and it feels like like your streams do for me. Like those shits are funny. You're interacting, but you're reacting to the game, and I think that is a a rare talent in today's uh, streamer. I I appreciate it because that's <laughs> the one thing I would say was the hardest. Kind of like what you were talking about with Firewatch is like continuously having a conversation when nobody's there yes like that is difficult you kind of just gotta let your inner thoughts fly like oh yeah yep <laughs> there ain't no exactly. like you can't think about it you just gotta I, I remember reading some article i don't remember what it was but it had to do some with like I, I had to be researching on how to be like a better twitch streamer or something this is like super okay. early in the game right. and they're just like, yeah, just keep talking. If you are looking for something, say that you're looking for something. If you can't find it, say that you can't find it. Like, where if you're working the puzzle out in your brain, say exactly, exactly what is going on. And I'm like, you know what? That helps because you you got to pass that like video test where you can click anywhere in your video and it's something happening. Like, are you are you talking or are you going to click on a certain area and you just quiet? Right. Or if you click another place, now you ain't nothing really happening. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you got to make people want to watch. Right. Exactly. That's dope. And we're going to segue perfectly into this next section. Lessons learned. Like you said, you've been doing this for a while. You probably learned a few different things, whether it's technical or relationship wise, whatever it may be. What lesson have you learned because you started creating content that you could or do use in your everyday life it's a it's always going to be a work-life balance is going to be the number one thing because mm-hmm. what people and what i've done is that like i work a full-time job probably since you know me i don't think i've had a part-time so there wasn't really that much time to work on content so mm-hmm. you had to figure out how to make it work but the reason why i had to take a break is that i couldn't figure out how to make it work i couldn't figure out how to do my full-time job do this <laughs> which was like almost almost a part-time job you mm-hmm. know doing content creation yeah uh but then it also enjoy myself because now what happens you play video games for not a, not, a, not a hobby but for like uh monetization yeah. and now every game that you look at oh man i could possibly stream this yeah but the reactions from this would be great on stream when i was on my break the first game that i played was last of us 2 mm. And I, I sat there because I sat there for a couple of days, not like five days or anything, but like two yeah. days. Because I'm like, I want to play this. I keep thinking about it, but this is look really good in stream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like going back to that. Like I'm supposed to be, you know, resetting and and, and rebuilding. And I'm. It was just one day where I'm like, screw it, I'm just gonna play it. Yeah. And I started playing. It was the, I don't know. It was like the best experience that I had. 
in a long time. There was it was work, and it and I came back home to play Last of Us Two. I was by myself on the couch because Callie did not want to be near for that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm sitting on the couch. I'm immersed in. We're talking like five hour gameplay sessions at yeah. least, you know. And mm. slowly, I started playing more and more games for me. And soon, soon it became to. Mm, Nah, that's I'm not gonna stream that one. I'm gonna keep that one for myself. Uh, and, and it was more games that I wanted to play offline than it was that I wanted to play for everybody else to see. And right. I think that helped greatly because it's just like turn it off, turn it off. You don't need to be on at all times. You got to have that time for yourself to be able to breathe, for you to be able to just see what's around you and be able to grow from that as well and enjoy yourself. Because if you're going to constantly keep doing this with content creation, I know they say Dude, it's the grind, it's the grind, it's the grind. But you're going to, yeah, you're going to grind yourself to a halt. You got to like relax. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's just like, <laughs> like, take care of yourself first. You got people that ain't like eating or drinking proper water when they're streaming. They got to have like, <laughs> like, just start binging afterwards or whatever. Like, Take care of yourself and stop, you know, and don't miss out on those things that you you did once enjoy. Because I know a couple people probably listening have that issue where they can't really enjoy the things they used to, like with video games, because they do it all the time. Right. You know? Exactly. Take take it back for yourself. Yeah, it's it's okay. Trust us. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's amazing. I love like hearing everybody's story like the back side of yes this creator is doing amazing things you might see him streaming and making the people laugh and he he got another video out but there's definitely a structure to the back end that you i think not i don't i won't say you need to follow but if you want to be healthy and you want to stay sane a uh, structure is going to help you a lot oh yeah 100 you can't really like move forward without it mm -hmm. all right words of advice vox I, I'm somebody who is interested in content creation or I've been doing it for a while. What would be your number one piece of advice to give someone who wants to start creating content? Number one piece would be take it slow. You don't need to rush to get that expensive equipment, right? You don't need to rush to make sure that your entire weekend or the days that you have off from your job are completely filled to the brim with just content creation because you're still working. Mm -hmm. So take it slow, learn what your limits are, what you can offer to people and what you can keep for yourself and know the difference between those two. And I think the thing with that is like, it won't necessarily help you grow your channel, but it'll help you grow to be able to handle that as you do, you know, as you do build your community community, because mm -hmm. that's why people talk about like, Oh, you know, it's going to be a while before you can get your community because you got to learn how to manage that first. You got to learn how to manage yourself too. So right. you can't like have one without the other Yeah. when it comes to building that community. I mean. Exactly. Yeah. I've seen a lot of bigger communities. They grew too fast, did not have that management piece. And yeah. that's when a uh, crazy shit happened. Yeah. It kind of like falls into itself because now that person doesn't know how to deal with all of what they have now mm -hmm. as opposed to like, you know, you're setting up your boundaries. Like, all right, cool. We know not to cross this and kind of building that community to where you need it to be. You're setting up boundaries for yourself as well. Right. Like I don't need to, I don't need to stream six out of seven days a week. I'm cool. I'm cool with two. I'm cool with three. Like you be good with what you got. Like right. in that two years that I, I was gone, like I built up some, a backlog of videos that I could post. So now if I decide I don't want to stream or if I want to try something new, like taking a you know sabbatical for a little bit and coming back, there's still content there to support. But I right. wouldn't have done that previously because I didn't have time to think about it. I didn't have time to think about like, oh, this is going to be good for me later on. Like, let me, <laughs> right. let me take care of myself now. So Exactly. I will say doing this podcast weekly and not missing a week has taught me not only Am I able to do it? Mm -hmm. But having a backlog is amazing as a content creator right? because you get to like plan. Like I could go on vacation and content still coming out. Like exactly. what? Exactly. I haven't recorded anything since God of War, mm -hmm. and it's still we're we're good. Like I got some more weeks before this is up. That is right. Like even if it does finish, and I'm still not ready for whatever reason, I already have another series ready to go. Nice. You know what I'm saying? You run that risk of having it a little bit outdated because it's an older game of whatever you're mm -hmm. playing, depending on what you're playing. 
Right. But at the same time, people don't care because there's a niche literally for everything. Yes, exactly. That right there. Once I realized that, like Bloodborne, I feel like when I was like heavy into streaming, Bloodborne is one of those games that like pushed my channel up. Mm -hmm. Not only because like motherfuckers like those type of games, but it was the type of game that would get me to interact and like be more explosive and like more charismatic because that shit's crazy and like it's an old mm -hmm. old ass game but it does numbers it yeah and it's because people it's one of those games that you can only experience once right you can play it again you can get better at it but the reactions that you get from learning the lore fighting the bosses leveling up your character you can't really experience that again right right so it's just People always want to see, like, oh, I reacted this way. Is he is he gonna do the same thing? Exactly. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I respect that though. That's that's cool. Like, cause I mean, like, if I had a Pokemon series and that was coming after God of War, right? Right. Chances are those God of War people probably won't stay around to watch me play Pokemon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But somebody will catch. It might take a little bit, but somebody gonna find it and watch it. Exactly. And I think to the like, I'll this last thing I'll say on it. Even mm -hmm. though I, I think this is a dope conversation, uh, like the, the idea behind the content you create for me. Mm -hmm. And I think like this for you, the personality is what I'm trying to hook people with. And yeah. like you said, not everybody's going to go from God of War Pokemon, but they see you and they're like, oh, I like this dude. Oh, he's playing Pokemon. I don't know shit about that, but I like Vox. So let me go check out his shit like that happens more often than I realize. I wanna I wanna respect the time as well, but you just mm -hmm. really brought you brought up a great point. We talking about that. That's the whole thing I did with NCW. Y'all yeah. like everybody in my community trusted me mm -hmm. that I said, Hey, I'm gonna play a wrestling game. I ain't never did this on my channel. Right. I played Yakuza, I've played Pokemon, I played all these different games. Legend of Zelda, like I played all these different games. I'm I'm about to play wrestling. Do y'all trust me? People showed up. Mm -hmm. Stuff started moving. P more people started showing up. P and like it was to the point where like I was top five, top ten, or something like that. I don't remember the wrestling game that I was playing. Yeah. And when <laughs> WWE 2K20, I think that was what, like the Ugh. worst game they made. In yeah. Reality. Yeah. I was keeping that category alive. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Talk your shit. Yes, exactly. So, but the thing is, though, with talking about people coming to the personality, just being who you are, because you're you in the community, too. So y'all trusting me yeah. to go from playing Yakuza to playing some of these serious games, Call of Duty shooters and all this other stuff to do wrestling. And it paid off. I just said, I can do this. I can. This, this is what I have as an idea for content. We did it. And now everybody keeps asking me where it is. You have people who are not even interested in wrestling. It's not even a night, mm -hmm. like not even a thing to them, but they still tune in at the same time to watch. Exactly. This. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, and I still have people now asking me, it's only been <laughs> two, four months since I came back. When is it? When is it? When it like, oh, and, and let me give further explanation for people who are listening. NCW is nine canon wrestling. Uh, which is like an E-Fed, which is something yes. that you can create in like any of the WWE 2K games. You can create your own entire universe. And what I did is that I added people from my community in here and had them fight each other for championships, creating storylines for them. Everything was like done by me. I did the commentary. I first, like that was, a, <laughs> that was the people's favorite. Uh, but I did all this to make my own little personal show and kept in in character the entire time yeah until like i switched the scene back to my camera so it's just like you know i created that immersiveness for everybody it was until the controller died yeah <laughs> or or the game freak out and not do oh, yeah. it <laughs> and i have to hit the oh okay <laughs> yeah yeah amazing like i'm gonna put this i'm gonna say this and spell it out i hate when movies do this shit like this is the lesson of this movie but sometimes motherfuckers don't realize it when they're hearing it so listen mm -hmm. he said that he was playing one type of game took a risk switched to a totally different game or a bunch of motherfuckers was like what is this shit we're not i don't know anything about wrestling it was like top five top ten in that category because he believed in what he wanted to do and it worked yeah and that's that's been the the whole point of what i've been saying yeah Right. Take those risks. Learn your boundaries. Continue to do what you want. I did what I wanted. Became one of the best. Like 
it is not one of, but it is yes. the best thing I've done on my channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the most talked about thing. Like there's no other game. There's no other moment that I have created on my stream where people talk about as much as NCW. Right. And that's awesome. I love that shit. Speaking of which, I'm going to make you do it. Call of action box. If the people want to check out your content, <laughs> where should they go? Where, where are we going to check out your, uh, your wares? I love how you said I'm going to make you do it because you knew exactly what my answer would have been. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. but, uh, you can find me. You can follow me on twitch.tv forward slash non cannon crew. I know a lot of people get confused with that because they spell it the correct way. Uh, I do not. It's N O N C A N O N C R E W. Twitch.tv non cannon crew forward slash non cannon crew. YouTube.com forward slash non cannon crew as well. I'm trying to see where else is appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> That's realistically where I'm at. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, TikTok. I don't even know what the web address for that is, but it's not Canna Crew. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know how to use search? Look for it. <laughs> right. I'm going to be, I, that's going to be the next thing I'm actually going to be uh, gearing my or pour, pouring my attention into is going to be TikTok. So right. I still have the YouTube shorts going. Those are like doing really well, too. But Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. Crunchy on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. He's surprised. What the fuck? Because <laughs> again, like that's another thing. Like I don't want me to jump into a whole other conversation. But sometimes when you look at your stuff and you make it for you, sometimes you're just like, eh, I don't know if it's that funny. Post yeah. it anyway. Post yeah. it anyway. Post it. Post that shit. Two of my highest forms of video or my t highest view count of videos on my channel. I didn't really think it was that good. <laughs> There, That's how it one goes. of them. One of them is just me showing off characters in the costumes for wow. a fighting game. That's it. That has like That's... almost fifty k. I didn't do it. What? Anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, sometimes it's simple shit to get you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. No, <laughs> <laughs> All right. As always, y'all know what to do. If y'all know any other creators out there who can benefit from conversations like these and more, uh, share the podcast with them uploaded and unfiltered i'm everywhere i i search like almost every week just to make sure that we're uploading and we are we're good to go i actually have a website uploaded and unfiltered.com i just made that like four or five days ago you should check it out all the past guests that are up there i'm working on getting their bios up there and social links it's amazing go check it out other than that vox thank you for doing this with me i appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> no, I appreciate. Thank you, thank you for giving me uh, some time to talk and just chill out, hang out with my friends. I appreciate you. Hell yeah, man! As always, uh, you know, protect your mental, keep creating content, and I will talk to y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>